Okay, recording now. Hey gang, it's been a while. I mean, it's only been like a week, but uh... Actually, it's been two weeks. But who remembers last time? Uh, what we did? Anyone? Anyone remember at all? We went to Spider. And things happened. Nice. Okay, Hope. Continue. She wanted me to marry her. I said, no, I don't think so. Okay, so... There was also the one where I forget what his name was. I think this was before that. We met the guy who passed to Whisper. Uh, no, that was afterwards. Uh, and you met okay. him. You, you're actually, uh, you've just rested for the night and you've woken up the next morning in the Yamajiji's camp. Uh, does everyone see the same map and have control of the tokens? Yes. Alright. Uh, so you wake up, you eat your breakfast, um, and after sort of packing up any supplies that were left behind by whoever made this camp, um, is there anything you want to say to the Yamajiji before you guys head back out? Then we get stuff for him. We should from him. We should probably thank him. Like then we get like magical stuff or something. I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> my my headphones fell completely off my head. I said, um, you don't we you, get like said, you don't have to talk louder. I just didn't hear. The <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Instinct, but um, <laughs> um, I said, didn't we like get magical items from him? Shouldn't we like thank him or something? If you'd like Probably to, yeah. We you got, um, uh, that... Disappear? Greater Slaying Arrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The Greater Slaying Arrow of Chaotic Outsiders. Is that the only thing we got? I thought we got two things. I believe that was the only thing. Okay. Could be wrong. There was also a potion that, uh, was considered probably not safe. Oh yeah, there was an expired healing potion. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, you say thanks to the Yamajiji in whatever way you see fit. And the party is off. The party's plan was to return to the city of Nukamaru. And hopefully, um, find a brother of General Yin of the Yin clan that can marry this spider lady. So that... <coughs> yes, cough. Um, so that... Uh, Zhijian Bo doesn't have to marry a big spider. Um, oh, I don't see what's wrong with that. Let's see. I'll bring you to the map. You want how Bo is typing? No. It thinks I'm typing, but I'm not. Okay, I'll roll some random encounters as we go along. See if we run into anything. Okay. Day two. Okay, now let me roll on a big list of encounters. Uh, that is not applicable to you because you are in the sky. Day three.
day four. Day five. Day six. Day seven. Okay. It takes you about another week of straight travel. Eventually, you land on the outskirts of Nukamaru. I'll bring you to that map. Has Hope been to Nukamaru before? I'm not sure. Uh, in character, she has. Out of character, no. Well, yeah. But you land right on the outskirts of this large fortress city. Um, you sort of land. Uh, the day is cooler now that this now that the uh, it is sort of transferred to the fall season. Um, as usual, uh, the river is calm, and you see the river Yokai uh, that is that you know is the guardian of this river, sort of just splashing his feet and not noticing you as you approach. Uh, the bridge over is solid and sturdy looking, and in the distance you see the gate is open, and people are going about their business. Okay. Uh, you can now move first, as you see fit. First thing that Yon Hapo uh, does is go up to uh, uh, Kawa Otoko to tell him the stories, because he's now made a kind of a habit to do that. Uh, he'll briefly recall all the stories that uh, he was part of, since uh, the Kawa Oto is to love stories. Uh, Zhijian Bo, uh, you've never met this character out of character, but you have in character. Uh, this yokai is a large, maybe 14, 15 foot tall, uh, plump looking man with dark skin. Uh, he's sort of washing his feet in the river as he sits, and sort of whistling a tune. Um, he turns to Yuan Hubbo as he approaches. He says, um, Oh, hello there. Hello, friend. I came to tell you the stories of my travels. Ah, you are making ripples. I've heard many things. Oh, what have you heard? I would be interesting to hear the, it from your, from what, uh, from the perspective of what you have heard. Oh, just rumors. I've heard you've been traveling all around. And you've made friends with the local or the greater yokai. So far, it has been interesting. I heard Turtle is waiting for you. He's surprised you've waited all the way to the end to see him seeing as he's the first one I talked to you about. Yes, we did, weren't exactly sure where he... Did he tell us where Turtle was? Yes. Oh. Turtle actually was the first yokai you knew the location of. Okay. Yes, uh, we, we were planning on uh, keeping the wise turtle till the end. I hope we have not offended. I am sure Turtle does not mind. Simply go with the flow of the river and Turtle will not be upset. As so he says this, the, uh, the Kawa Okoto sort of kicks his feet gently in the river and creates little sort of ripples that go out. I will proceed to tell him about the story of, uh, uh, um, uh, but, uh, Tiger Mole and the Salamander. Alright. You sort of then, explain uh, the situation, and uh, what else would you like to explain? That's all that I'm telling him yet, because we haven't finished the one with uh, the spider. Ah. Uh, 
Well, I'm glad you were able to find your way out of that situation without having to harm anyone. Nods to the weapon at my side. I prefer to keep it sheathed. Except for the those guys that Salamander barfed lava onto. Yeah, I don't mention. Uh, I don't correct him on that. Well, you must be here for a reason. The city yes. is quite busy today. Yes, it is time for us to head. I just figured that. As uh, you enjoyed stories, I would tell you ours first. I appreciate your doing so. Okay. The Kawa Okoto uh, turns his head away from you and sort of looks at his reflection in the river as you guys quietly kind of step away. Uh, Hope and Sigi. Are either of you interested in speaking to the Kawakoto about anything specific? No, not really. Okay. Okay. Uh, the bridge creaks as you sort of step on it and walk across this very large, like, sturdy bridge. Um, as you approach, uh, the two guards on watch sort of quickly... Uh, they have their weapons sheathed. But when they see the group, uh, they sort of both salute attention and then go back to a sort of the regular stance they take. Uh, they are silent, but they definitely salute as you walk by. I will give a brief nod to them as I pass. You see people going about their business, their everyday things. Uh, this woman sort of jogged to the south. This man is nailing uh, bits of parchment up to this big uh, community uh, sort of like nail board. You see all sorts of uh, uh, Xiao characters for looking for adventurers, looking for work, um, people selling things. And this man is sort of nailing up a big... He's got like a big bundle of scrolls that he is one by one nailing up and then ripping down the old ones. He does not seem to notice any of you as you walk by. You walk by this family. Um, this woman and her children are just speaking to each other. Uh, one of the kids notices you, but neither of them speak up, like, immediately. Uh, in front of you, you notice right here, uh, the tea house, uh, where you met General Yin the first time. Uh, you're not sure if she's there right now, um, but it could be a good place to start. Okay, gather up near the front door, and I'll bring you to the new map. Okay, tell me when you're loaded in. Okay. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. All right. Uh, as you step through the sort of main, uh, uh, sort of antique looking, uh, sort of dark wood doors, uh, you enter this large garden complex complete with a bunch of little huts, as well as the main tea house building here. This guard gives a gentle wave as you all walk in. You see this man here is uh, using a sort of small scythe to trim away the bits of this sort of strange esoteric looking bonsai tree. 
The man does not look up from his work, although uh, this guard steps down and sort of walks over to you as you guys begin to approach. Uh, he gives a sort of curt bow and says, uh, Ah, Lord and his posse. You, we do have guests. Um, we actually was sent a message to you by Carrier Pigeon, although I don't believe it would have gotten to you with you being on the move. No, we did not receive uh, any message. Yes, um, a few of your generals are waiting for your next orders, sir. Take me to them. This gate opens up one, uh, this guard opens up one of the doors with his, uh, right hand, and you see, sort of, let me open this up so you can see the interior of this tea house. Oh god, okay, Yuan, uh, not Yuan Haobo, but Jijan Bo, it took me forever to find your token, you, like, blended in with the stone for, split, like, a split second there. Yes, that's my special power. That's your, your real knife, like real life ninja stealth. So I was curious, what were you guys drinking? Hope and uh, Siggy. What? You guys are both loaded, right? No. You said you were. No, that, it was a bad joke. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even get it was a joke. So yes, it's definitely a bad joke. <laughs> I thought you were I thought you were legit just curious. No, they uh when uh you said uh, tell us uh when we're loaded in and hope oh. that we're loaded and it just ah uh, funny. Ha he he he. he. Yeah. I told you it was a bad joke. Uh you a gathered crowd of some familiar faces as well as some new ones, or specifically one new one. <clears throat> as you guys walk in, uh, this woman with the this sort of geisha makeup sits up quickly and she says, um, I'll leave you alone if you have important matters to discuss. Um, uh, Chu Ha Bai, uh, sort of gets up and gives a very, very deep bow to the group as before sort of trotting off. She does not walk. She's very fancy. She trots off into the next room. And uh, Yuan and Haobo, as well as the rest of the party, notice and recognize two figures here. Uh, Jin Ying or Jin Yin and Shang Shui uh, both are high-ranking generals in Yuan Haobo's, uh, sort of independent army. And you see another figure, sort of, in sort of black-scale male, as well as sort of, like, r gently ruffled black hair. Uh, they are drinking tea, um, as you approach, uh, Sui, uh, Sheng Sui speaks up and says, It has been quite a while. It's been almost a month. Yes, and we are nearing the end of our uh, venture. It seems so. It's you and your party look battle hardened, more so than usual. It has been difficult, but it has been uh, very prosperous. I am glad to hear such things. You, you sort of plop down on the pillow uh, on the ground. A serving girl sort of walks in during the conversation and sort of very, very gently pats. Um, Jijan Bo sort of pokes him on the shoulder to get his attention. Um, what is it? Um, my lord, would you like a seat as well? Um, yes, thank you. Okay, um, just one second. She sort of quickly rushes into the next room. Um, 
as the conversation begins, uh, the serving girls will sort of pull out sort of like matted pillows and set them around the table here. I don't have actual art for them because I didn't draw this map, but they would also offer you seats if you guys wanted to sit at the table. Although it'd be a little bit cramped, it is enough. Mao is upset that he does not get a pillow. Because uh, he's just a cat. This is so sad. There you go. Now he's laying on his back. He's laying on his side. Oh, tell me. Tell me of your long journey. Yes, okay. we're very interested to hear exactly what you've done so far. Um, I will regale them the tale from uh, Fox on. Uh, since uh, the last time we tried to talk about Fox, it ended up in people dying. So continue on. So you're working with Spider now, uh, Jin says. Now, which one, um, remind me, which one uh, would I be uh, trying to get her brother, if she has a brother? Okay. And that would be Jin? Jin, yes. Uh, Jin Yin. Jin, Jin Yin? Yeah. Okay, I will look at her and say, well, that is a little bit of a tricky subject. Oh, in, in what way? Spider is looking to increase her brood. I don't understand what you mean. She is looking for a mate for one of her children. Uh, one of her children that is mostly human. All right. Well, you have many servants. Why not simply order one of them to do? The situation is that uh, a a union with uh, Spider's children will produce a uh, very powerful ally and uh, the child of that union will most likely be at least partial yokai and strong. I don't wish, as much as I don't mind the idea of ordering a servant, it is something that I'm not sure that I would trust with just any servant. Well, are, are any of your companions unmarried? Um, she motions towards Shizuko and Wian. Says, "Those two, I don't believe they're married." I'm not going to marry Spider. Sorry. Do you say that? Yes. Beautiful boy. This one. She points at Shizuko. Shizuko just kind of. Holds Fox close and shakes his head no. So, while I can find a servant to do it... Is she truly so ghastly? I'll take your silence as a yes. Her appearance is not, uh... That of the... Normal beauty. Well, then what do you suggest? Your clan and your family is going to be there. I was going to see if you had someone that uh, you could uh, produce this union with. If not, then I will find someone. But I wanted to give you the first chance, since it you, will produce You wish a... for me to tie my bloodline with spiders? Yes, if you are willing. I know that it is always not the norm, but those in power are my family are exclusively women. 
so I don't exactly see how that's going to work. I do have brothers. Uh, in fact, my brother is here. Um, he sort of motions across the table. And he says, um... Uh, Yin kind of, like, motions her uh, her hand in a sort of shushing motion. And uh, Kan Yin sort of quiets down. I have several brothers, but they are... they're not in positions of authority. Kan Yin here is a foot soldier in your army. That is interesting, since uh, it seems when Spider produces with uh, a, a mortal, it is always a female. It would mean that uh, the female lineage would be stronger for uh, your family if you were to give up one of your brothers as a servant to Spider. Hmm. And you have exhausted all of their options? No. This was going to be given to as an option for you first. Uh, I exhausted the options of the people here, but it, while it is not uh, exactly the best scenario, it is also leading to a, an increase in power of a clan. And if it was going to increase power of a clan, I wanted it to be, be offered to my loyal generals first before I offer, before I forced one of my underlings to take the position. Uh, it's possible. I, I will see what I can decide. Hmm. I will respect whatever you decide, of course, but I was going to give you the first chance of the seat of power there. Kanyin? Uh, he sort of nods. He says, uh, yes, sister? I know you are married, but perhaps Wu. Wu is not married. Perhaps sister. It's certainly possible, although Wu has always been a stubborn type. Um, the only non-married brother I have is Wu, uh, Wu Yin. He, uh, he is stationed in Nakohama, under the, uh, town guard there. Perhaps, if you speak to him, you could convince him. Well, what do you think? I think it uh, is worth pursuing. Uh, would you want your brother to be uh, set in this position? Because it is a position that would breed power to whoever was set in it. And I don't want to step on your toes. You are my general, after all. And I, I trust, trust my brothers enough. We are family. Very well. Then I will speak to your brother. And maybe this will turn out to be a good scenario for him. Uh, Sheng Sui interrupts and says, um, uh, Yuan, if I could interrupt. Um, of course. My scouts have located Turtle's Cove. Although it's quite difficult to even approach. The waters around Turtle's Cove are vicious, um, tidally strange. They don't behave in the same way the ocean's currents do. I have a wizard um, studying them now uh, in the city of Chozawa. But I'm not sure exactly. I haven't heard from him in about a week.
Nope, not Chozawa. Uh, Yoimura. Mix up my towns. Well, um... It seems that we should probably move on that soon as well. I will go see if I can, uh... Uh, speak to your brother briefly, and then we'll move on to the other. Uh, out of curiosity, Tanky, how far away is the city again? Um, I will show you the map. Nakahama's right here. Uh, Yoemura, where the wizard is, studying the waves, is right here. Okay, so it's actually on the way. And here's the assumed location of Turtle's Cove. So it is on the way. Okay. It's possible you could go to Nakohama, pick up the brother, go to Spider's Lair, then take a boat from Masakabo to Yoimura. I think that's what we're going to try doing. Does, any, does anyone have any other input specifically on another path? Or another, uh, essentially, what's it called? Why can't I think of a very simple word that I know exists? Um, another order of operations. Siki and Hope, any, any... Sorry, what, what's the proposed thing again? The route? Uh, go to Nakohama, across land. Pick up the brother, or convince him to be Spider's daughter's mate. Drop him off. Go take a boat from Masakabo to Yoimura. Meet with the wizard. Hopefully go to Turtle's Cove. Sounds fine to me. Also, yes. I just realized Hope has a turtle in her Discord name. I don't know if that's recent or not. I put that when I joined, because I like turtles. Turtles are very cool. There's a gif of one. Um, let's see. Oh, um, I should give you the wizard's name before you leave. One second, he's... I'm pulling out my book of notes. His name is Zhu Fen. That's the name in general chat. He's an eccentric type of person, but he's very trustworthy, I promise you. All right. It sounds like uh, we have our work cut out for us. Let's, okay. Uh, we're going to probably spend the night and then move on. All right. And you spend the night without any incident in, in town. We don't get attacked by the serving lady again? You don't. I forget, did we even find out who did that? Oh, the, uh... What's it called? The assassination attempt? Yeah. It was assumed that it was uh, the Empress. Yuan's sister. Okay. However, there's no real proving that without going to Xiaolang and, like, doing an investigation. Hmm. And also, they're all dead, so can't really interrogate them. Oh god, I realized I didn't eat today. I probably should eat after this game. Um, so, gang, um, we doing kite travel by uh, by land, or are we taking a boat? 
I think we're gonna do kite travel by land. Okay. Unless the boat is would be faster. I thought they were about the same amount. They're about the time. same, but actually no, boat's technically faster, but is more a little bit more dangerous. Then I say we do boat just because uh, we need to. The characters need to get this, this over and done with. Okay. Because they're concerned about time. Hey, you charter a small uh, sloop, and you go out into the horizon. Okay, so that's an unfortunate roll. No, that's a fantastic roll. I'm guessing we're gonna all die. Uh, during the night, uh, the boat is struck with a horrible storm. Okay, gang, get your tokens, because we're going to do some rolls. As the storm racks the boat back and forth, um, each of you can do something. Um, you can decide what you want to do and what skill you want to roll to do it. Um, and a number of successes will increase the chance that your boat is not going to capsize in the middle of the ocean. Um... Can't believe we rolled a one. That's very good. The first day. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's a little bit more dangerous, but we can do it. First day, storm, boat tips. Uh, we all die. Everything goes on. So, as the boat rocks back and forth and waves threaten to knock everyone overboard, uh, the crew, as well as the players, are fighting this storm, essentially. I will take a, a leadership role up uh, on the top-ish, uh, telling people what to do. So I'd like to try for a diplomacy role. You may do that. Sigi and Hope, how would you like to contribute to this? Uh, I'm looking... And I'm giving you essentially free reign. Just be as creative as you want. If you can justify a skill, I'll allow you to use it. I'm thinking either trying to justify my perception or my survival. Either one of those would work. It just depends on how yeah. you want to do either. Um, you could use your perception to look for a best <laughs> look for the best way out of the storm. Uh, you could do survival to sort of recollect knowledge about surviving storms. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see what my better. I think they're equal. They're the same. Survival might be a little bit better. Yeah, I think survival sounds better. So, I'll use that my training in survival to like help the crew with like various different tasks, whether that be like you know tying rope. I don't know what kind of a ship yep. we're on I was gonna but, say, it's, it's just know, a sloop so it's nothing like it's nothing super big okay but it's really oh, yeah, fast I'll, I'll, I'll use that to go okay give me a survival you on you expertly take a lead alongside the captain of the ship and your presence really helps with morale we on uh you expertly tie knots batten hatches uh uh, you, uh, Mao does not really help that much, because it's a cat, um, but, uh, Wuyan, uh, your physical might, as well as, sort of just, like, your general knowledge helps the crew considerably. Uh, Shizuko. Uh, Shizuko will sit in prayer. And we'll pray to uh, the spirits of the storm to calm, try to calm them at least a little bit. And even if it doesn't do anything, it'll help the crew morale-wise. Okay. Shizuko uh, does some small rituals and prayers on the rocking boat. And even if they don't do anything, they seem to calm uh, quite a few people down. 
Uh, Jijian Bo. What would you like to try? Um, I cannot think of anything that my good stats would actually help me with. Uh, let's see. I have acrobatics, disabled device, escape artist, and sleight of hand and stealth are like my highest. You have ones. perception. You could try to navigate a way out of the storm. Yeah, I'll try helping whoever's navigating with that. Okay, give me perception. Okay, one second. Okay, that's good. Unluckily, after just a single day at sea, uh, the group is hit with a horrible storm. However, with their expert roles and expert knowledge, uh, the group, by the by sunrise the next morning, makes their way out of the storm. Everyone is exhausted, but hopefully they're out of the, uh, they're not just in the storm's eye. Okay, the next day. party sails across the giant nameplate in the ocean. No one laughed. Um, let's see. Here we are. Um, on the fourth day, uh, the party docks on the very small village of no uh, Nokohama, or Nakohama. I'll bring you to the map. I don't think we've ever loaded this map before, so it might take a bit. Is this the one that you had ready in case we took a boat instead of yes. flying? Okay. It's always good to keep every map prepped. Except for that one time when I didn't prep a map for you guys to go back to that village with that guy. Tell me you're loaded in. In. I am. Um... Oh yeah, sorry, I'm in. I forgot I was muted. Okay. Uh, you land, uh, the calm waters sort of brush against the nearby rocks and cliffs. As you see, a very small fishing village. This is not to scale, by the way. Because these would be very, very small buildings if there was. Or very tall people. Or very, yes, or very big people. This is a city for ants. Um, as you guys sort of land, uh, you see this sort of elderly man sticking his spear into the water and catching sort of small fish. You guys are free to move however you see fit. The city, uh, not even a city, you could even call this thing, it's basically a size of a neighborhood. Um, this small village uh, is very quiet besides like distant conversation the tweeting of birds and the sort of lapping of the waves against the rock it's quiet Both in the group and in the universe, it's quiet. What's this fisher guy doing? Uh, he's doing what he's doing. He's fishing. Um, he doesn't pay you much mind as he is sort of trying to spear like a little, um, 
I don't even know what fish would be salt water and close to land, but he's spearing fish and uh, he's got a few cat. He's got a few caught uh, in in sort of buckets. Very good. I really like the picture for the fishermen. They're all super buff. Listen, okay, he's jacked. <laughs> Look how veiny he is. <laughs> This is this is Japan, okay? Every old man is super ripped underneath their clothes. Yeah, uh, we, didn't we? Um, was it when we met the guy that was under the uh, what's his fucking name? The guy who hated Masamuse or whatever his name was was like fighting a fisherman or something. Yep. Yeah. He was yeah. killing the fisherman and his daughter. That was fun. You see, people are going about their business. As well as this sort of young man uh, carries like a basket of grain into this house and disappears. <clears throat> this man sees you approach and says, uh, Hey there, wanderer. Looking for something interesting to buy? No, I'm looking for the city guard. Yeah, well, there's some of them over there, he points at those two armored men. Thank you for your time. Sigi also points at them. Yeah, I was trying to do the finger, but I forgot what, what, what that was. Control shift space. Finger. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know what you're doing, but it's glitching my camera out. Oh yeah, every time I do it, I have to. I, it forces you to look. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. You approach these two guards. Uh, they both sort of look up at you. Says them. Civilian. That is a new term. That is okay. Uh, out of uh, out of game, uh, Tanky, real fast. What was the name of the character? I uh, his I'm name was Wu out. Yin. I am looking for Wu Yin. Wu Yin. He sort of scratches his chin. He says, "Um, I don't recognize that name." Oh! Oh, you mean Crazy Yin, the other one says. <laughs> he says, oh, I don't know where he went. He usually hangs around. Sometimes the villagers have scraps for him. Why is he called Crazy? Uh, I mean, he used to be like a soldier or something, I heard. But, you know, he mostly just wanders. He doesn't have a home or nothing. <laughs> He's Japanese Irish, right? Crazy. Cursed. Konoichiwa. Yeah, um. Oh, the other one speaks up. Oh, yeah. Crazy Yin, um. What are you looking for him for? He's not got some debt, right? No. Uh, his sister is one of my generals. Gen generals? Oh. Yes. Oh, my lord. Um, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. He gives a bow. General Yin. Oh, that Yin. Is that really his, his family name? I thought they just called him that. No, that is really his family name. What does General Yin want with her brother? Son? Brother. 
That is between me and Crazy Yin. Uh, well, um, so. I'm sure if you look around, you'll find him. He's pretty easy to spot. He's got scraggly hair. He usually wears a big scarf and a coat. He might be up north, or I don't see him in the market. He kind of looks to the south. You could ask the village elder to the... He points uh, over to the east. You could ask the village elder. Maybe he's seen Yin. Very well. Thank you. These two guards start sort of quietly gossiping as you walk away. As you approach the bridge, you see a very, very old man with a head wrap. Uh, not really a, a turban, more like a sort of head wrap to keep his, uh, uh, what you assume, bald head, um, not sunburnt. He is, he's leaning on the side of the bridge and sort of looking down into the river. I will approach and lean against the uh, side as well. Hello. Yes, I'm looking for one that they call Crazy Yin. He sort of I, uh... <laughs> he, he cups his hand in a very like obviously old man way. I am looking for Wu Yin. Uh, to the east and west and to the north. That uh, perhaps he's up north. Um, I don't know. I've been here all day. It's relaxing. Uh, he he extends a hand. I'm Dai Zheng. I'm the village mayor. And elder. And doctor. I uh, I uh, extend my hand, uh, and take it. My name is Yuan Haobo. Ah, so I recognized your hair. Yes, I've seen the the drawings or paintings. Um, what graces you to this village, my lord? Looking for Wu Yin? Yes, his sister may said he may help. And you've uh, brought a group of mercenaries. To find no, a single is, homeless man? This is uh, my companions. Oh, it's a big cat. Hello there. Daijang reaches down and sort of reaches into his pocket and pulls out like a little a small strip of dried fish for Mao. Hey there, cat. Hello. It's like Pat. 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 Oh eat fish Mao eat fish crunch yes that's that's Mao's thought process oh well um I suppose I could help you look there's not um, many places to hide in this village if he was hiding but I he was never really one for shame well um if you just let us know the general areas to look, I would be more than willing to look up. Uh, well, uh, I'll show you the general areas here. There you go. You can pretty much see the whole village from right here. Ah, uh, you could ask the priest. Um, I don't recall his name. Ah, uh, you could check the residential district or the hunting lodge, although you, uh, Wu Yin, doesn't really stray that far from the market.
Yeah, he's been with us since we set up shop uh, about a year ago. He just kind of sits around. I don't blame him, though. Uh, when you drink that much, there's not much else you can do. Interesting. Is what he says true? Is he really... I mean, he must be important. Is he really General Yin's brother? Or... Yes, he is. Oh. He's told me that, I just assumed it was drunk ramblings. I assumed the Yin family had no brothers. Well, um... No, he is, uh, definitely, uh, General Yin's brother. Well, uh, if you look around, it shouldn't be too far. Oh. It, I'm sure that solving him won't be a one hour and 12 minute long mystery. Sounds good. We will see what we can do. All right. Where would you like to look for Wee Yin? Um, well, let's start off by uh, heading... Let's split up a game. That's actually not a terrible idea. I mean, yeah. See, if you watch Scooby-Doo, you always get good ideas, great ideas, learn how to look for things. Okay, how are we splitting up? Who's going where? I guess I'll, I volunteer to go to the hunting lodge. Because I'm a hunter or something like that. Oh, I just zoom. Okay. Up. Oh, yeah, I know. Zhijian uh, <laughs> Bo, where do you want to go? Um. Well, I can do the market or part of it because that's they said that that's where he usually was. Okay. Uh, Shizuka we'll will go Shizuka. to the temple. Yep, I was that's about to say yeah. that. What about you, uh, Wuyan? Not Wuyan, uh, Yuan Habo. Residential? Okay. I was about to say, uh, I'll put you with Jean because it's obvious that he's not here. So he's gotta be, like, up here somewhere, if, if he is here. Okay. Okay. Starting off and here. We have a plan to meet back in one hour and ten minutes. Okay. First things first. Uh, Yuan Hao Bo and his uncle, Jizan Bo, both head for the market and residential district. Uh, as the guards watch you approach, they sort of come to attention and get back to their posts. They give you a sort of mild salute as you approach. And then go back to sort of just standing around. Okay. All right. You walk into this sort of tightly packed um, shacks. Not really even how full houses. They're more like stilted shacks. Uh, this woman is outside her house. Uh, she is. Uh, she has a wash tub and a wash board, and she is washing. These sort of uh, brown dresses. She does not look up from her work as you approach. Um, Jijan Bo, make perception checks or make a perception check. Uh, you see a glimpse of a man over here. Wait. Where? Ah. Uh. Sort of in between the, the tightly packed houses, you see for a split second a man before 
obviously you walk by and don't see him anymore. You don't get a really good look at him, but you see someone. I will point through the, like, gaps in the houses and say, I think I saw something over there. Maybe we should investigate in that direction. Lead the way. All right. Okay. You sort of walk around the corner and you turn and you see, uh... There's a man sitting here, leaned up against this like pile of lumber, and he is unconscious. He's just kind of leaned up against it. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? You walk around this, like, construction site, this sort of foundation that is not quite a house yet. Before you look over, uh, the man sitting in front of you, I'll zoom in on him so you can see his art. Uh, the man looks like he's in his l early 40s, maybe, although time has not been very, very good to him. Um, he sits in sort of just, like, regular-looking trousers. He has a haramaki on, sort of like a, ch a chest guard, but it's very minor armor. Um, as well as wearing a sort of large wrapping scarf. Uh, he wears a large wrapping scarf around his neck. Um, in his hair, there is both uh, wraps and braids, as well as jewelry. And he is... Uh, there's no, like, uh, you don't see anything on him, including a weapon. You don't see any weapons or anything. Uh, he is out cold, uh, leaning up against this lumber. It's obviously not very comfortable, but he doesn't seem to care. Okay, well... Uh, uh, one second. Before you do that, yeah. um, I'm going to cut over here. Sigi. Uh, as you approach the hunter's lodge, you see that the hunter is out, and there is no one around. I am going to AFK while you take care of Siggy for two seconds. And no okay. one knows what happens to Shizuko because the character. So it's obvious that there's nobody in the hut or anything like that. Uh, right? You don't see anyone in the hut, um, although you see like drying meat. Uh, there's a deer skin pelt. That is uh, being tanned. That's like half tanned. Um, and you see signs. Uh, you see gear that is clearly missing. Like a hunter is on a hunt right now. And he like picked up all his shit and went. You don't see anyone currently. Although you can't see inside the hut. But you don't see anyone nearby. Hmm. Uh, I can't see anything in the forest. Make a perception check. I will do so. Okay, you scan the nearby forests. Uh, you scan the sort of fall leaves. Um, you don't see anything suspicious. You see, like, wild animals. Like, you see, like, maybe you see, like, a chipmunk. And, like, way in the distance, you see, like, a doe. But not anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess I will go. Okay, I'll bring you back to the bridge. Okay. We cut back. Shijan Bo. Since Yuan Hao Bo is AFK, you'll be taking the lead for this scene. Jijun Bo, uh, the man in front of you is clearly drunk and unconscious. Uh, you know the signs before, or you know the signs of uh, a drunk, basically. Uh, you don't see any bottle, but that doesn't mean that he's not wasted. Uh, and he sort of, he reeks, definitely. Not like he hasn't taken a bath, but it's like a combination of like sweat and booze. Cool. 
torch like uh, to do. I guess I have to try to wake him up. I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. How would you like to how would you like to wake him up? Uh Have you ever tried to wake up someone who was totally drunk before? No. Okay. It's a lot harder than it sounds. Um, but there are some pretty easy ways. Although, let's see. Uh, what, what's your idea for waking this guy up? Nothing. Okay. Are we just looking for ways to wake him up? Uh, yeah. Can I... suggest? If you'd like to, yes. Or... oh, okay. Uh, say, you're not in there in character, but you're plenty able to talk to people out. Right. I don't know, movies say that if you pour water on them... <laughs> That's what that's what movies say. I've Could never work. poured water on a drunk person. I've never tried to. Well, I've attempted to get very drunk people uh, awake. I don't think I was ever successful. Not that I remember. I didn't pour water on them, but yeah. Hope. Oh, would you like to look for some water? Okay. There's a river right here. There is a river right there. Um, let's see. Do you have any sort of bottle or receptacle? You actually do. Uh, you have... Oh my god, you have so much more, like, torturous shit you can wake him up. You have sneezing powder. You have fire jackal saliva in a bottle. Man, imagine being woken up by just a handful of pepper in your face. Uh, let's see. There's also that wash tub you saw before where the woman was washing her clothing. There's That's a lot of water. What do you want to do, Hope? Um... I don't know, so I don't have anything on me. I mean, you got a ton of things on you. Uh, but not that I can use. I mean, you have bottles. Uh, are they empty, though? I would have to empty them. Uh, yeah, you would have to empty them. You also have... But it's not that big a deal if you empty out, like, a bottle of Goblin Eye. It's not that strong okay. of a poison anyway. You just gotta make sure you wash it before you pour it on his face, or you're gonna poison him. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. How, uh, so is it wanna... gonna be an enough? Uh, I mean, it's not like a tiny little bottle. Oh yeah, I guess it's like a vial for poison. You could, if if all if it, all this fails, you could just run to the river and scoop up fucking water with your hands and just throw it at him. 
Or you could go grab that lady's wash tub and pour the... I don't know, the... right next to a construction site, there's gotta be something lying around. Uh, they're actually, uh, make a perception check. See what you can find next to this sort of okay. foundational construction site. Uh, there is a pail of dirty water. It looks like, uh, it actually looks like, uh, it, you think it's dirty water, uh, cause it has a sort of bluish greenish shade, but when you get closer to it and smell it, it is paint. Paint. Uh, it's definitely a bucket of paint. <laughs> well, um, I will empty that out and replace it with water, I think. Okay. You pour the paint into the construction site or into the river, I guess. Uh, scoop up a big pail of water and splash it down on this man. Uh, he doesn't immediately react, but you can see that he sort of comes to quietly. He's like, uh, you sort of hear him grumble. <sighs> he sort of waves his hand in the direction where the water came from. He turns the other way. Ugh. Jijunbo, it seems as though the water alone was not... He's clearly awake, but now he's just ignoring you. You can tell he's... Um, you can tell he's really... Da either down in the dumps or wasted, because you just poured a bucket of water on him and he barely reacted. Um, at this point, uh, uh, after a bit of, uh, time, uh, Yuan and Zhijian do not come back immediately to the bridge, uh, leading Wuyan and Shizuko to the village itself, where they come upon this scene. Seeking, you are free to do whatever you wish. You see a very wet old man on the ground. Wet old man. And he reeks of booze. Mal kind of walks up and like, sort of like head, gently does that cat headbutt thing to him. What, what the fuck? You have no clue who this old man is. Um, well, uh, I don't know his description. You were start going to tell me about some crazy dude who lives in town, doesn't do anything. Then yeah. I don't know. It sounds like this guy might fit that description. Yeah. And considering that uh, the other two are standing with them, I can probably that this man is probably. The man. There's also a big. For. There's also a big splatter of paint right about here. Just for no reason. What, what happened? Uh, here. Um. Don't worry about it. Okay. We and uh, he sort of opens one eye as you guys are all standing around him, and he sort of gently gets up to, to sitting rather than laying down. And he sort of looks up at all of you. Uh, one of his eyes is milky white. Not like cataracts, but like blinded some other reason. You don't see a scar, though. Uh, his left eye, actually, is what is blind. He sort of looks up and says, What the fuck? This man is 
wasted. <laughs> I can handle. I can handle my alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Who? Who is this guy? Where'd you find this guy? What? Where? Who? Is this the guy we're looking for? What's your name? Looking for some guy named Wu Yin. He rolls yeah, back. Okay. Hey, I can see your name tag, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can mouse over your icon and see your name, pal. What do you want with Wu Yin? We're looking for, uh, we're looking for him to, uh, we have a proposition for him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we have a little proposal in to be doing with Mr. Yin. He sort of sits up and he, he puts one hand on the stack of lumber to steady himself as he gently comes to his feet. Uh, he's a little bit wobbly, but he's he's not gonna fall. Do you, okay. Do you need some help? I'm fine. You sure? I'll be okay. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, you got me. I'm win. What? You look like. Thugs, what do you want from me? I don't we owe anyone thugs, any money. If we were thugs, we would have robbed you already. I ain't got nothing to rob. Exactly. Okay, so what do you want? I don't Why owe anyone like no this? money. <laughs> oh. You want how Bo speaks up? He says, what do you mean? I mean, how did the... uh? The brother of of one of my generals falls so far. Brother. He sort of just scoffs. He says, I ain't fall no farther than the day I was born. <laughs> so you have always been this way. I ain't got no problem with it. Sort of leans against the lumber rather than standing up by himself. So you're the Shogun, right? You on how Bo? Yes. Heard a lot about you. Apparently you're in charge. I am. Okay, so what does the brother of an empress want with me? I don't know. I am not sure that we want anything of you. You don't seem to want anything of yourself. Fine with me. He sort of just like leans up and turn, sort of extends a hand down. Mouse sort of sniffs him and then backs away. Whatever. This is a waste of time. This man is, uh... Not what we're looking for. Well, who sent you to find me? I don't owe anyone nothing. I haven't hurt no one. No, we were hoping that uh, we would find uh, someone that uh, we could trust to help with uh, raise the or help raise the uh, kingdom above where it is now. You looking for adventurers? I mean, I got some fight in me, but I'm too old for that shit. No, we're not looking for adventurers. We're looking for someone who uh, can help with 
Uh, a yokai. Hey, how did you all know I was here? I don't talk to your no one. They don't... Your sister. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know she read those letters I sent her. I just started making shit up. Captain of the city guard. Like she didn't even care enough to check. She's barely a... She's like... Barely a week's walk from me. How could she not know? If what we've been told about this man is a lie, then this is a waste of our time. Well, I mean... He sort of chuckles. Looks at you. According to whatever system you believe in, because of this, he points at one of his veins. Because of what's in here, I'm a lot more important than you. Okay, whatever you say, pal. He shrugs. And why do you think you're more important because of what's in there? I mean, that's all that you folks care about, blood. That's all that you never cared about. Or... I suppose I should call her Jing around you, seeing as it's my family name too. That's all General Jing ever cared about. She's got that other brother under her thumb. I don't even know his name. I left before he was even born. You know, I was gonna stay in Shaolang, but I decided, hey, why not get a new start? But you know. This start's what I got. Why did you want a new start? I owed some people a lot of money, gambling debt. They weren't gonna <laughs> chase, they're too loyal to the Empress. So you gave up uh, gambling, I see, and took up drinking? I mean, I've always been drinking. I just don't have any money to gamble. I stowed away on a fishing ship. They didn't even see me. No one ever does. I'm too quiet. He sort of, he brings his sleeve up and sort of wipes like a bit of drool from the side of his right cheek and sort of, sort of quaffs his hair slightly so it's out of his face. You know, I always thought you'd be taller. Level up. Why was there just a big thing that says level up on you? We have... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Press the weird button. Oh. Yeah, I'm just pressing buttons. You know, I always thought you'd be awesome. taller. He points at you on elbow. And why is that? Because my... I don't know, you're always drawn taller than everyone else. <laughs> yeah, that is, um... That hey, is I know you're not a... AFK. What? Pretty... Did you put that there? I did not. Someone else probably did. You want to continue? Sorry. <clears throat> so... <laughs> Some of those tokens, by the way, actually. The shadow realm. I was like, some of those tokens actually do mess with your stats, so I would ask you to not. You on? What the heck are you talking about? Oh, it's a a bunch of states, like uh, token states, were appearing on Shiri's token. Oh, okay. Okay, back to the game. Sorry. Yes. Got distracted. Okay, so I will. Uh say yes um it seems that uh 
perceptions of how people are I have found recently is a little bit distorted. Oh yeah? You gonna yeah. do philosophy now? Well I have learned a few things. Um I have a question for you. Alright, I ain't got nowhere to be. How would you like a purpose? I think that's a little bit too deep for this early in the morning, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing nothing else. Well, there is a, uh... There is a yokai that is looking for a mate. You're playing a matchmaker with the yokai now? I heard you were just taming him. No. At first I went out to tame them, but... They have a place in the world and it's less about taming them and more about understanding their place and... Offering your look in exchange for theirs. Okay, which one? Is it like a dryad or something? No, it's spider. You want me to marry a spider? Not You said mate. You want me to have sex with a spider? Half spider, half woman. Which half? <laughs> which half's which? <laughs> like a mermaid? <laughs> no. But... Have you measured? Uh, How... Is it exactly 50%? No. Would you like to measure? <laughs> I'm not really an expert in that kind of thing. Plus, I've never heard of a yokai that's half woman, half spider. It's actually the daughter of a uh, uh, spider. That's weird. I didn't think Yokai yes, could have a... human children. Yes, it is weird. But would you be interested in at least seeing where this adventure leads you? Or are you happy with uh, sitting here well... and sa drowning all your sorrows in drink? Well, I mean, I'd have to pack up everything I own. He just, like, steps a few feet. He says, Okay. Let's go. Okay. I'll at least check out this spider lady. <clears throat> Should I, like, get something to wear? Yes, I think we're going to have to um, take care of some clothing and get you freshened up. Okay, sure. What is this? Okay. He sort of just sits back down again. Okay, give me like an hour or two. Does he still have a bottle near him? No, he doesn't have a bottle at all, but he's clearly drunk. Okay. Uh, Shizuko, will... Shizuko actually taps Uyan's shoulder and says, uh, "Actually, I can I can help with that if you so... move out of the way." Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Shizuko walks forward and sort of reaches into his spell component pouch and pulls out a sort of bit of reed and sort of whistles into it slightly before stepping forward and touching Uyan and. Lesser restoration. Uh, suddenly, we didn't stop stumbling. He says, uh, w Oh. Well, thank you, I guess. 
Okay, really well, like, I'm sober now. I really like the names we got going on. We got Yuan, Wuyan, and Wuyin. I'm sorry if I'm not super creative. Um, <laughs> no, it's I find it funny. I was gonna say I'm naming in two other languages. Um, he says, "Uh, well, I mean, I was enjoying that buzz, but I guess if you're in a hurry." Yeah, I think it's time uh, that you see what you can do. And I will then head on down. What if we uh, should get him some new clothes and shit first? Is that or actually a wall there bath? that I just jumped? Yeah, you just jumped the 10 foot wall. <laughs> okay. Everyone scrambles up the wall. <clears throat> uh, the merchant kind of walks up as you approach and says, um, Hey there! I'm now looking for some clothing. Alright, alright. What's your size? I will, uh, point to Wu Yin. As best as you can for my friend here. Uh, okay, yeah, um, sure thing. Y Yin, get over here, let me get your measurements. What is that? <clears throat> yeah, sure, okay. The merchant looks him up and down and sort of uses a uh, crude implement to sort of measure his arm length and waist size and everything. He says, um, okay, how fancy are we going? Uh, the merchant turns towards the group. Uh, what's your budget? We should probably do fancy if we're going to try and impress Spider, right? You think? Yes. Uh, as fancy as uh, necessary to uh, give my friend here, Wu Yin, a uh, makeover. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh... You can go ahead and bill me at my palace. I will make sure that uh, it gets paid. Yeah, I've heard that one before, buddy. <laughs> Turn and look at the guards. Uh, thank you. Shank. Shank, give the man what he wants. That's Yuan Hao Bo. Uh... Uh, all right, I mean, I'm not gonna say no, but I'm not happy about it. All right, um, the Xiao merchant starts looking through these sort of large boxes of cloth. He says, um, are you looking for something custom made or, or will anything do? Anything that'll uh, fit my friend that will help uh, the, make him more appealing. All right. By the way, bill my palace is like the ultimate like haha. I don't want to pay. Uh, for a game where you don't get a lot of gold, that's such like a cheap but really cool thing to do. Um, yeah. Well, that was what my thoughts were. Is this would be the one character that could actually pull that uh, sort of thing off? It's like, do you, do you know who I am? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Like. I don't, I've never had a character that could do that before. I was like, oh, this character could actually do it. This quarter could order this man under court marshalling. Give me the dress now. Um, okay. After about 20 to 30 minutes of looking through things, what we on, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, looking through things we on picks out. An outfit. Okay. Uh, are we also giving him a haircut? Yes. Let's do this. We on glow up.
Okay. I've got new art for him. I said we on before, it's we in. Okay. Tell him you can see the new art. He looks much yes. more presentable. Yes. Okay. We can kind of... That... He, well, he doesn't really care, so he just kind of, like, strips down to his underwear in the market and starts putting new clothes on. After a beard trimming and a styling of his hair, he sort of looks at the group and he says, um, We shall see. And then I will. Okay, gang. Let's hop back on the boat. Yep. What? The Boat. Okay. I was going to say, luckily, there's no storm again. Do we want to go around to Chozawa, or do we want to go on the shore and then go on foot? Go on on the shore and go on foot. Anyone object to that? Okay. Okay. The party says goodbye to the crew who helped them over this, this uh, long week. And they plant their feet on the ground. Uh, in just a day, they arrive back through the horrible, horrible, horrible spider forest. Who remembers that? Um, it's a great no, time. No, I successfully blocked it out of my memory. I remember it, but I wish I didn't. Um, because you go through the same thing again. Although, uh, the webs seem to part and... Um, be much more agreeable this time. Almost as if you're now a guest rather than just walking into her home. Okay, let me get some new music for Spider. America's Next Top Model, Spider Edition. Um, is the music not playing? Of course it isn't. Uh, there you go. Come here, loaded in. I'm in. I'm in. You're free to move however yep. you see fit. Okay, so you on how about we'll start doing the YMCA? Oh, wait, no. Never mind. You sort of climb down this short area, and Wu Yen says, uh, you know, I get that it's a spider, but. It seems excessive, if not a little dramatic. Uh, Non-threatening spiders sort of skitter up the walls and follow you guys as you walk wait, in. We, wait, we found our clones. Ignore oh, them. Oh god, they, they it's us!
We find web effigies of all of us. <laughs> okay, you all approach the throne of spider. You know, we found ourselves in cocoons from the future. We time traveled. Hello, morsels. Back so soon. Zoom. The Bachelorette. Yuan Haobo, have you brought me what was promised? Yes. Well, I have brought somebody who uh, has agreed to uh, see with your, or to meet with your daughter and uh, uh, see what happens. You're interrupted mid-sentence as Wu Yin reaches a hand out and shakes her shoulder slightly. Look over at him. You said I was marrying a spider woman. That girl can't be more than 16. What? What is... What's going on? What, is she actually 16 or was she older than that? Uh, she, she is in her teens. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. This is... This is kind of creepy. Nice. We've backed ourselves into a corner. Okay, sounds like we have to slaughter <coughs> everything. That's it. Kill everyone. Um, It's technically not out of the ordinary, although they would have to wait to, like, do anything until she was an adult, but still, it's kind of weird. Yeah. But this is uh, but also this is arranged marriages. This is just kind of a thing that happens, sadly. Right. This is it's one of the many caveats of feudalism. Uh spider's old enough. She's like an eternal being. I will then uh look at him and say uh, uh she will be a woman. Soon. I'm gonna quote you on that. <laughs> that is creepy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's see. I wasn't actually gonna do it. Spiders. Oh my! I just realized that your your username on Discord is Spiderbite. It is. How convenient. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's because I long time ago uh, I built a program called a spider and it was the first program i ever sold um Yin says uh all right um i understand uh but your wording was a little deceptive um spider speaks up and says uh Morsels, what are you whispering? Wu Yin was surprised by the age of your daughter and wanted to make sure that I understood his uh, surprise. She will soon be an adult. Was this not said? It was not communicated correctly to Wu Yin, but I do not think that he has a problem with it. He just wanted to make sure that I understood that it was not communicated correctly to him. Hmm. All right. And you're sure that this one is not free? He, uh, spider points with her leggy, her, her leggy at Jijanbo. Second offer. I have many treasures to give you, give in exchange for this one. I'm afraid I must decline again. <sighs> All right. Hmm. A uh, Wuyin speaks up and says, "Uh, Wu 
Uyin gives you a side eye. Uh, <clears throat> what? Um, everyone, could you please come over here? Sort of scrunch up, please. Can you please kill me? That's what he's gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, it is only a girl. And also, she's very creepy looking. <laughs> um... <clears throat> That's all I'm gonna I'm say. Gonna, I'm gonna... I'm going to pull out something from my inventory and tell Wien to consume it. What do you pull out? <laughs> Mellow Root? <laughs> okay. Consuming Mellow Root causes a euphoric feeling that makes you feel invulnerable and immune to fear. Oh, that may not be the smartest you know what? Let's just see where it goes. Because you know what? We're near the end of the story anyway. I'd like to just... What is this? Well, you see, the the thing on um the Pathfinder thing says that it's given to people, like, the exact example is sneaky goblin chieftains give this orange paste to the tribe's warriors before proposing a particularly bold raid. So I feel like I don't know. We're proposing something fairly bold. What are you handing me? <clears throat> um, a snack. <laughs> it doesn't particularly look appetizing. It's like a red paste. It's uh homemade. I'm not a very good cook. What it tastes good. I'm not very good with presentation. Make diplomacy <laughs> or bl actually make bluff. <laughs> Oh, I get a minus three. Are you trying to drug me? No. Oh yeah, oh, don't, yeah. don't you specifically have a bonus that means you're bad at lying? I think that was your drawback. Huh? You have that, uh, what's it called? The drawback you chose for your character was the, the one that makes you honest. And it gives you, like, a penalty to lying. Is it? Yeah, because you have a minus two bo bo uh, negative on top of it. That? It's back. My, I was uh, say it's back on your your character sheet back when you were like level three. Really? I'm trying to look. Fighter is um, yes, I do. They. And I'm also seeing what you're not seeing. Oh, you right. are Labyrinth. aligning yourself with uh, one of the more power, most powerful yokai on this island. And you seem to have a problem with uh, uh, your station being defined by your blood rather than by your actions. And now you're balking from uh, having to stay in a cave for a couple of years when all you were doing is drinking. What I am seeing is someone who's using uh, cowardice to hide at the bottom of a bottle instead of choosing to define themselves by their actions. Okay, give me diplomacy. Point gun at head, marry the spider. Hmm. 
Your words hit true. Perhaps it won't all be that bad. Uyin steps by and uh, sort of raises, uh, uh, sort of gives a gentle bow and then some. All right, Spider, I accept your proposition. I, uh, Wu Yin of the Yin clan, will bind myself and my blood to yours. The spider, if it could grin, it would grin. Spider reaches her to uh, the front leggies forward, scoops Wu Yin up, and picks him up and sets him over here. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh, just as a reminder, uh, uh, um, Tiger Mole wanted us to make sure that Spider was no longer mating with a mortal, uh, mortal right? Yep. So we have fulfilled that. Yes. May now that Spider, exact. now that Spider's, what's it called? Now that Spider's daughter has a mortal mate, Spider no longer needs to mate with mortals to continue their bloodline. Cause Spider's not going to die of old age, right? Like, so she doesn't need to worry right. about, like, time. She exactly, was just, She so. just wanted more children. And I guess grandchildren will have to do. Okay, so we've, uh... So we haven't violated what, uh... Tiger Mole wanted, no? Correct. Um, was there anything else... Because I couldn't remember, I can't remember, and my and because it's been so long, but my character would be keeping track of all this sort of thing. What uh, what each the, what each yokai wanted? Yeah, is there anything that another yokai wanted of Spider? I thought that was all there was, but I'm just making sure. I think that's all that was specifically related to Spider. I know Dove didn't have anything for you. Neither did Kun. Um. Albear, you made good friends with Albear. Um, Fox, you saved. He owes you basically. Um, Tiger Mole and Salamander are getting. They don't really get along, but you, you've got them to stop fighting. Uh, then Tiger Mole said to stop Spider from taking a bunch of mortal mates. Um, right. Although I guess what he wanted is actually unavoidable now, now that Spider has a half mortal child. And basically the same thing will happen that. Tiger Mole didn't want happening in the first place, but it's now a little bit too late for that. You can't kill the kid. I mean, we could. We do have a arrow of slaying. Yep. You do have an arrow of greater slaying. But that probably would not be good for us. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, because then why did you America's Next Top Model this dude? <laughs> You, you you pretty womaned him. Okay, so is there anything else anybody can think of? Mm -hmm. Not that I Before can... Before we move on, I just want to make sure that uh, there's nothing that you can think of that would help. <clears throat> I can't, well, I mean, I can't we need to think of anything. We need to ask for the blessing. I don't know if... Oh, Spider yes. The blessing. Can... Um, here, um... She sort of steps across. Take this blessing. She uses one of her mouth leggies. Taps you on the head you on. There you go. Okay. Bob. Boop. Um, you all I hit level boop. nine. Yes. Wow. 
And wait, why is Mao still level seven? Is that uh, Mao is uh, Mao has seven hit dice. Uh, he's not level seven. He has seven hit dice. Oh. Uh, animal commands are slightly less than players. So, gang, uh, with that hitting of level nine, I think that's the end of the session. We went for two hours, surprisingly. Yeah, I don't think that uh, there's a whole. I mean, we have got what twelve minutes. I don't think there's uh, anything that can be done in that twelve minutes. Uh, you have your character stuff we can do. Yeah, that's why I, was, I I meant role playing wise, uh, you know, big story. So wise. she's on bow. Uh, hope. You're first. You're level nine. Um, oh yay! Your sneak attack becomes five d six. I believe. Yep. Your sneak attack becomes 5d6. That's basically the only thing that happens to you this level, and you get another feat. Epic. Foot, epic. Siggy's a big fan of feet. What? <laughs> By the way, never in any of my D&D games have we arranged a marriage with a child. Put that on the check list, I guess. Oh, I'm not sure that that's a good one to put on that list. <laughs> it's, it's on the list. Uh, also on the list is eat someone alive. That happened in one of my games. Oh, God. oh I actually had a character that did that. Other than I used... We had a, uh, we had a werebear magic. that ate someone alive in one of my games. I used healing magic to uh, regenerate them as I was eating them. What? what we were fuck? trying to get information from them. What? And uh, Zhijun, Bo, that was... uh, you just have a feat to choose and you're done. We on. Yes. Yep. Uh, you get an additional teamwork feat. And a regular oh feat. Oh. You can choose those in your own time. Don't think you have to choose them right now. But they have to be chosen okay. by next Tuesday. I, I don't know what would, the best ones would be. That's why you got time. <clears throat> okay. Shizuko is not a player character, but I've been leveling him up. <clears throat> Shizuko gets his greater spirit, actually, which is cool. Well, yeah, he gets his greater spirit ability. So as a standard action, Shizuko can now summon an appropriately sized martial weapon with a plus one. And she's uh, and uh, he's always proficient with the weapon. That's pretty cool. Never mind the fact that Shizuko has five strength, but still. But uh, they could summon a finesse weapon too, I guess. Okay, okay, so I get uh, hit points, and that's about it. Hit points and skills. You get a feat. That's true. So, gang, I hope everyone had fun that session. It was a super exciting session, but we got some stuff done that we wanted to get done. Yes, it's a good session. We made a man, uh, we did a pretty woman to a guy. Uh, made him from not to hot. Good session all Epic. around. Epic gamer moment. Um, yes. Spider's about to have a gamer moment. A heated gamer moment. <laughs> Epic. So, gang, Why? Um, I will see you all next Tuesday, and I think we only have one, depending on if we do turtle, if we 
get Turtle done in one session. That might be it. Next th Tuesday might be the last session. Okay, cool. Um, I'll try to find some by Thursday, but if I don't, we'll have to cancel Thursday, Yuan. I actually might, if I can't find anyone, uh, because of stuff... Um, I've got something that I have to choose whether I'm going to do it or not now, so I'm going to choose to do it uh, for Thursday. Because... That's fine, that's fine. I also have some personal stuff relating to Sam that I need to talk to you about. Uh, I guess, no, Sam quit, so it doesn't matter, but... Um, I'll talk. I'll DM you because you're one of the more active members of the D and D group. Okay. Um, everyone else. I guess I shouldn't have said that on recording. I'll edit that out. Um. Okay. <laughs>